on your courage. <laughs> Nevertheless, I must warn you that the ordeals that you will undergo are of a twofold nature, more subtle than immediately realized, and far more durable. It is therefore not only your physical courage that must be called upon, but also your audacious morality and inner constitution. You are upon the threshold that surmounts time, and from which there is no turning back. As the ancients have stated, there is nothing that has no cost. But you must ignore that which it costs. One more time, sir. Do you wish to continue through this ceremony? I do. In that case, Brother Grand Expert, conduct the candidate on his first voyage. My son. Come. There. It is a profane who hopes to be a mason. Why does he dare ask for this? Because he is a free man and of good motives. Since it is so, he may pass, but only after being purified with air. Suddenly, for the divine. 
excessive shedding of the subtle envelopes that erode the divine spark that we call the soul. It's thus that you have arrived at the royal meteor, the middle path, where the heaviness of the sensual passions symbolized by water are forgotten, and where the higher ideals live and what the sages believe is symbolized by air. It becomes necessary for the desires of the flesh to die, so that the passions of the spirit may live, imperious and exacting. To become a sage, where there must nothing that cannot be imagined. The only contingency is that all contrary thought must be subdued. No other belief, opinion, or thought will allow one to reach the total and supreme truth. Accepting a thought that is contrary or extraneous is similar to slavery, and it is here that we hear from a statement made by one of our order, Wolf and Father Good. Nothing of the past is one deserves merit. It is only the eternal need from the present elements are amplified through the wisdom of the ancients to arrive at a new and better creation. This simple truth is Masonic in entirety. The truth, the traditions, the unique regalia of the masters only provides aid for the individual's journey for the road to enlightenment and gnosis. As you travel on the road of Ayu and Yu, the path is very long and contains many reveals. Do you still wish to continue and take the third voyage? Yes, I do. Since it is so, Brother Grand Expert, conduct the candidate on his third voyage. Rest yourself, my friend. Service 30. 